The smell is insane. Bro, look at that. Now for $268, they have this Dooney and Burke bag. We're gonna be going to the ganache I'm about to buy one of the most expensive desserts I have ever bought in my entire life. Bring your pass holder magnet to life. Oh, he's jumping around. It is toasty today. We are at Disney Springs. We got a big day planned for y'all. We gotta watch a new Thor movie. There's like a $40 piece of chocolate we're gonna go buy. There's a bunch of new merchandise and food items we're gonna show you all. Now, they have a new annual pass holder magnet. Now, I never got my original one for signing up as the annual pass holder. But, let's take our phone, do a little scanny. Let's see what we got. I joined the virtual queue for my magnet. Uh, it's gonna be a 20 minute wait. So, but first, we gotta go to Lux Burger. They have two special burgers for this month. If you are a local here in Orlando, you know there's a big rivalry. Are you Team Lime Garage or are you Team Orange Garage? I'm Team Orange Garage. It's right next to AMC and Gideon's and that's where I frequent most. But so they have two special burgers. They did forget uh, the Grapefruit Garage, which is where all the cast members park. There's no special burger for that. They left out that garage. I'm gonna get the Orange Garage Burger, see how it is. I think I've actually, I'll try the Lime one, but you know, I gotta stick with my, uh, my old faithful Orange Garage here at Deluxe. All right, this is where we're going for lunch. Deluxe burger. Handcrafted burgers and fresh cut fries. The fries are amazing here. Okay. The smell is insane. Very excited. I haven't even seen the burger yet. Bro, look at that. That is a good looking burger. Time for the burger rundown. So it's gonna be the orange garage burger. It's gonna be a press signature blend patty, citrus braised pork belly, orange onion jam with a pepper jack cheese with lettuce. Smells amazing. Very good burger, really enjoyed it. Um, the orange onion jam, I loved. It's, uh, you get kind of that sweet uh, citrus flavor, but there's also kind of a little bit of heat behind it, so it kind of balanced out nicely. And the pork belly, sometimes the pork belly is really fatty or really too chewy. This is crisp and nice and tender. It just, like, you bit into it, and it just felt like you are biting into a filet, right? It just, like, melted in your mouth. So proper good pork belly. And then you kind of get the patty. The patty was kind of, like, underwhelming to me because all, all the ingredients were so good. So it's more of, like, a pork belly sandwich with, like, a little patty with it. I wish there was kind of a thicker, more juicier patty with the whole burger, but I really enjoyed the burger. I, I think we'll do like an 8.5 on it. A good option. Team Orange. Uh, we have to try Team Lime another day, but thoroughly impressed. Now it's time to go see Thor, Love and Thunder. All right, so they have the photo op out, right side of AMC. There's the squad. We're gonna find out if this movie is good or not. They also have some more banners out. Here we go, into the AC. It's like 100 and something degrees today. To cry, to care, because we need that, all of us. That indescribable feeling we get when the lights begin to dim. And we go somewhere we've never been before. So we just finished. I don't think we've ever walked out of a theater and the whole audience, you just feel the disappointment in the air. <sighs> that was one of the most frustrating Marvel movies I think I've ever watched. Let me process it and then we'll talk about it in a second. Well, we just watched Thor Love and Thunder. Really wanted this to be amazing. I love Taika Waititi. I think he's a great director. Thor Ragnarok, one of my favorite Marvel movies. Uh, this, this one flopped. They made Thor so dumb the entire movie. And not like the fun-loving dumb, like just the annoying, frustrating dumb. It's as if Thor drank away so many of his brain cells when he became Fat Thor that he's just a complete idiot right now. The movie is so cringe, they cram so many jokes into the movie. Now, comedy is so important, right? It, it, comedy works in, in a rhythm. They just crammed the joke into every single 10 seconds, didn't let anything breathe. When there was like a dramatic moment, they just like crammed a joke in there. And then all the acting was very cringe. A very talented cast. I don't know why it was so cringe. Now, the best way to describe it, so there's like a, like the fake Thor play, right? With Matt Damon, who plays like Loki, and they kind of like parody Thor. It was like that acting but the entire movie. The ending was frustrating. I thought Christian Bale was fine as the villain. Uh, it was something kind of weird and creepy. The character design of him I thought was great, right? There were some elements that I enjoyed. I enjoyed the Guardians, seeing them again, right? I love the Guardians of the Galaxy. I just did not like what they did with Thor. 5.5 uh, out of 10, it's not very good at all. The, the music didn't like bring emotion, I feel like, to the scenes, like how, how James Gunn, you know, picks the music that brings so much emotion to those scenes. So I don't know, they just picked like, felt like just random rock songs and there was catchphrases and I'm enjoying the Disney Plus shows more than the movies recently. Love the Moon Knight. I really enjoy Miss Marvel right now. I'm very worried for Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie now. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts about Thor, Love and Thunder. When you find out why it's called Lo Love and Thunder, you're going to be kind of like, what is going on at the end of it? So, 
let's uh, explore Disney Springs a little more, but yeah, left very disappointed and very frustrated with how they handled Thor. It wouldn't be a Disney Springs visit without saying hello to Chewy's Thick Cheek. I right, must just got baptized by Stitch, but we're gonna hop in World of Disney and see if there's anything new. We hopped in World of Disney. Diet Coke, five dollars. <coughs> Powerade, five dollars. Smart Water, five fifty. All right, now Pride Month is over, but it looks like they've finally gotten in more Pride merch. For uh, thirty-five dollars, they have this Rainbow Stitch. All right, they have a, this Kids Avenger shirt. I don't like the uh, veiny tube of the Hulk right there. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I do really like this classic Mickey Mouse T-shirt though. You're looking at twenty-four dollars for him. Okay, I kind of like this shirt. Twenty-five dollars. Admiral Akbar. Warning, it's a trap. They have a uh, Mickey's coffee here. At first, I thought this was like a tea that would take you on an acid trip or something by the design. There is this new haunted mansion and spirit jersey it's tie-dye it almost reminds me of like hades and you're looking at no price mystery price again thank you disney on the back it says it glows in the dark the haunted mansion madame leota right there with the instruments flying around her i think this is a really cool spirit jersey if only it had a price all right for 40 dollars, they have this 80s looking you may now kiss the bride hoodie short sleeve hoodie a tomb view a haunted mansion a tomb with a view this i don't know the wording and the placement just doesn't look right to me but you're looking at 37 dollars for this all right well it looks like someone wasn't happy about that price uh you're looking at 37 dollars for the tie-dye hitchhiking ghost little tank top here's like some uh sweatpants or some pajama pants for 50 dollars it's got the haunted mansion wallpaper on it after being out for what two three weeks they finally have the buzz light your merchandise here now they have this jacket property of star command i kind of like this this almost feels like something you would see at like galaxy's edge almost but um then there's i don't know what what they call the alien writing in light year, but kind of a standard jacket. It's a subtle hint to Disney. $65. We showed you these Dollar General quality toys. Now they have a Zerg one. A Dollar General Zerg here quality. This thing is garbage, the quality. But you're looking at $25 for the Zerg. All right, now for $40, they kind of have this little like micro machine playset almost with little buzz and a Zerg right there. And you're looking at $33 for this buzz, but he does have 30 sounds and phrases. So you're paying a dollar a sound. They did get a new little Star Wars backpack. So they kind of have this retro collection, right? It's from Loungefly of the original figures. And I've been really digging this collection that they've made. Oh my gosh, a little advertisement. That's great. That says Star Wars in kind of like the original font. So you're looking at $75 for this bag. Right now they did get some uh, Thor merchandise. These are these are hideous. These are so ugly. So it's going to be of a uh, mighty Thor. She's going to have her own ears. Super squishy though. Not as ugly as the Captain Marvel ones that came out a, a while ago, but I can't imagine anybody actually wearing these. But you're looking at $30 for these. Now for $35, they have a plush set of the, um, the goat things, the things that scream in the movie. I, I wish there was a little sound in them. You could squeeze them they'd make a sound but nothing a missed opportunity right there disney speak of the devil here are the captain marvel ones these are some of the ugliest ears i've ever seen again thirty dollars you have this like little poof rat tail thing higher further faster yes the prices are higher the quality is getting further away and the faster i run away once i see the prices honestly that much new world of disney i feel like every week you'll get a couple new items back in the day i felt like it used to be like truckloads of new merchandise constantly coming in now it's kind of just stagnant with the merchandise that they have all right time to pop into the co-op now they do have a new pair of crocs these are 70 dollars right normally they have like a cool design but it's just a plain white croc and just some uh, of the little croc little buttons that you can stick on that's the only difference. They do this new lounge fly bag, that same design that they're putting on a, a spirit jerseys. You're looking at $75 for this one. That's a cute little sign. This is like little clothespins. Yeah, so look, look what I made, you know, for like kids and they bring home their art from school and everything. You get display it around the house. You're looking at $40 for that sign. Then they have a little, a little honey pot right here. It says honey. It's got a little stir in the center. I don't know what you would use it for, but there's a little poo on top. And you're looking at $20 for that. Maybe like a little coin jar. For your soap, it says be happy. You're looking at $23 for that. Then here's another kind of beehive, right? Where you can put your kitchen utensils. You're looking at $35 for that. $37, they have this electrical light parade shirt. I think it's funny that we're getting all this merchandise and we don't even have the electrical light parade over here. But then there's also one, you're looking at $60 for this hoodie. I like the design that they have on the pocket. Then they have the lounge fly that we showed you guys earlier. But then they also have matching glow in the dark shorts for $37. I like the little Cheshire cat right there. All the clothing is glow in the dark. So if you go to Disneyland and you're wearing the stuff, you're gonna glow with the show. Now for $60, they have this button up shirt. You know, they have a bunch of the different parade little floats 
on the shirt. It's one of, you know, it's like one of those tacky, ugly shirts. I kind of wish it was a little more out there. I feel like it's almost a little too tame and you have to really go up close to it to see what's on it. I like being able to, somebody to spot me from a mile away. Now for $268, they had this Dooney and Burke bag. You know, it's like the retro, what is this, kind of like 70s Mickey? The Electrical Light Parade 50. Popped over to the Pin Traders. They do have some new Magic Bands. I got one for Thor, Love and Thunder for Asgard. This is gonna run you $40. So you got Thor right there and then Mighty Thor. I don't know if it's worth $40 though because they have electro light parade duty and burke magic band and it's worth 58 dollars it's the same kind of design that we just saw in the clothes they only made 4500 of these you get Mickey right there, that's nice. But is it worth that price? Uh, you guys might have forgot about my annual pass holder magnet. Well, I didn't, you know, something free from Disney. It's gonna be back here, I think, by the Christmas stores where I'm gonna pick it up. So it says magnet distribution, this way. So you show them your ID and your annual pass. So this is where you get everything. All right, so first off, they have a exclusive annual pass holder, Orange Bird Scavenger Hunt. I don't believe you get anything at the end of it. I guess we'll do this later. It's a little too hot out today. But this is something else I would really enjoy doing, but they said Orange Bird comes to life. Bring your pass holder magnet to life. Okay. Try it out. Facebook or sn Snapchat? What is this? How do we how do we see the Orange Bird? I guess I'll do Snapchat. Oh, it it only unlocks for 48 hours? <laughs> what what? I guess unlock. Oh, oh. Oh, he's jumping around. I guess when you hit it again, then it animates. Okay, I don't know why it's only for 48 hours, but I think that's cute, kind of bringing the magnet to life. Yeah, a new month. You know what that means. I gotta get the new cookie this month. All right, so here's a look at the new shirt of Stuart Valencia. Then they also have a new pin for Stuart for this month. Now the cakes are looking very good today. All right, we've gotten our uh, couple pounds of uh, cookies. We're gonna eat them at home because they're melting right now. But we're gonna be going to the ganachery. I'm about to buy one of the most expensive desserts I have ever bought in my entire life. Will it be worth it? I really hope so because <laughs> it's a lot of money. That is what we're here for. Thor's hammer with milk chocolate with electrifying treats. It's $35 and it does not include tax. Okay, into the ganachery we go. Here they all are. Which, which one is calling my name? This one? I feel, I feel like this one. Let's go with this one. Now they are limiting two per guest, no discounts available, but it's gonna look like this. And I'm guessing inside is gonna be full of all the rock candy. Okay, good luck today. They they put ice in the chocolate. She said get home as soon as possible or else the sucker's gonna melt. So we are going, we, we are rushing home right now. We're gonna open everything in, in the office where it's nice and AC'd. Okay, y'all, we are back with the goodies. First off, you know, we gotta start with the Gideons. Oh, that smells so good. So this month's little mascot is Stort. Stort was around last year. So here's a little shot of the menu of the artwork. It's Stort holding a little sunflower. Here's a little shot of the, the back. Now, if you order more than four cookies, you get a trading card. This is the one that we got this time. Here's a little look at my collection now. So I do love that Gideons does that, that they add in these trading cards. So this month's limited edition cookie is gonna be the orange pecan chocolate chip cookie. It looks like there's chunks of orange in it. I've never had that in a chocolate chip cookie, so we're gonna see. It looks beautiful though. Oh, there's the money shot. There's a little look at the inside. Let's make sure we get a chunk, a chunk of orange in there. Oh, wow. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Now, you know like those little chocolate oranges around like Christmas time? It tastes like that, but with like the soft kind of a gooey chocolate chip cookie. But it's too salty. Imagine having like one of those little or chocolate oranges, but they like dump a bunch of big salt on it. Seven out of ten. Not the biggest fan of this one. You're either really gonna like this one or you're really gonna hate it. Now, they do have two limited edition cookies for this month. They brought back the banana bread chocolate chip cookie. Now, this was one of my favorite cookies I think Gideon's has made. As you know, it's a banana bread chocolate chip cookie. So if you don't like banana bread, you are not gonna like this, but this tastes Mmm, it's the best banana bread you will ever have. 10 out of 10 on the banana bread cookie. It's a must. Do you hear the thunder? Okay, it is time for Thor's hammer. Now, it's $35. That is a lot of money for a dessert. Here's the little cold pack that it comes with. I don't know if they meant to do this, but it's a uh, Nordic ice and it's got a little Viking on it. These things are a work of art, right? I talked to the cast members. They said it takes days to make these. A handful of cast members working really hard to create this work of art. Now, there's a glow cube on the inside and you kind of see it glow. There we go. It's it's like kind of like bioluminescent, kind of like um, Pandora. Let's turn the lights back. Yeah, there we go. All right, let, uh, let's get a plate to show this thing off. Right, we've gotten our uh, fine china for it, uh, better homes and gardens. Okay, let's take out the hammer. Come on, 
Oh, okay, there we go. It's really small. There's stuff on the inside. Take it all around. It almost reminds me of what, like a little maraca? Now this thing looks beautiful. At the bottom there's all these like rocks. Let's pour it out. Oh, shit. We, we've made it into the kitchen right now. You know, we're 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 a, we're a very high production show. The handle looks like a giant Twix, but it looks beautiful, right? I love the craftsmanship that they did with all the cracks and everything. I like that there's a glow cube on the inside, so you can kind of see it glowing. All right, let's see how the the Asgardian rock candy is. They said it's electrifying. Well, I'm covered in glitter now. Okay, that's good. I like that. All right, now I feel like we gotta break it, right? No. Let's see how hard it takes for it to break. Oh, the handle just fell off. Okay, well, now we get a little Asgardian chocolate glory hole looking on the inside. So let's like rip it open, right? Arr! How do we... Right. Oh, there's a glow cube inside. Ah. We got we got the little uh, Tesseract, right, on the inside. Standard Disney glow cube. Ooh, it changes colors. But on the inside, it looks like there's um like little bars of different types of chocolate. What is, what is in here? What is this? I'll see this. There's like, there's little slices of chocolate. So there's like seven pieces of chocolate. Was that cherry? Oh, that's like a strong cherry flavor. Wow. Mm. It's a very rich, creamy, like, it's like a dark chocolate cherry. If you're a fan of like cherry, you're gonna love that. N now that we've kind of demolished this, let's go back into the office. All right, so I guess the question is, is this worth $35 after tax? I think it was like 38. My answer is yes. I think, but only for certain people, right? I think if you're just kind of alone, if you want a dessert, probably don't spend $40. Go get a Gideon's cookie that are $6. If you're on a family vacation, right, and you wanna do something like special, and I feel like this is something if I had on my Disney vacation as a kid, I would remember this vividly, right? A chocolate Thor's hammer. It's a lot of fun. There's definitely enough here for like probably a family of four to snack on throughout the day between the rock candy and the chocolate and these little chocolate pieces. I really enjoyed this experience. Now, all the ganachery chocolate is like made there at Disney Springs, so it's always fresh. Again, let me know down in the comments what were your thoughts about Thor, Love, and Thunder? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What are your honest thoughts? I just feel like it's kind of a miss. I, mean, I really wanted it to be good. But what's up next is Black Panther 2, I think is in November. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out when you guys do. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. I love the family. Because I'm going to keep you up to date on all things Disney and theme parks and ridiculous like $40 pieces of chocolate. Hi right, guys. I love you all. Please stay safe and I'll see y'all very soon. That indescribable feeling we get. I don't know how I feel about this.